Hi friends, my name is Krishna, Krishna Akumala. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to discuss on new scenario. What is that new scenario? Goods sold to, A sold goods to B. Then, A draw the bill, draw the, uh, A draw the bill on B. And what A did is, A also purchased, A also purchased goods from C. And what A did is, whatever bill he has drawn on B has been endorsed to C. Then bill was with C. What C did is, on the due date, he went to bank and request, sorry, he went to B and requested for the payment. B might honor the bill or he might not reject the bill. Suppose if the bill is honored, what entries we are supposed to book? If bill is dishonored, what entries we are supposed to book? That is the scenario we are going to discuss today. Right? Without wasting much time, let us get into the subject. Okay? Okay, guys. Let me explain the scenario with a simple example so that you can easily understand how to post journal entries. Okay? Right. Let us say A sold goods to B. A sold goods to B on credit. This is important. Credit. Then what A did? He has drawn one bill on B. B accepted and he sent that bill to A. Now bill is with A. What A did is A purchased goods from C on credit. A purchased goods from C on credit. Very important. After purchasing goods for credit, what A did is whatever bill he has, same bill has been transferred to C. Endorsed. Transferred, endorsed is nothing but transferred. He endorsed that bill to C. So now bill is with the C. What happens in undue date? C goes to B and request for the payment. If he will give this bill to B and request for the payment. If B, B pays the amount, we call it as honored. If B does not make the payment, then we call it as dishonored. If bill amount is paid to C, no issue, the transaction will get closed between C and B. If B does not make the payment, what C will do? C will go to A and say, and say, boss, I went to B. B said, no, I cannot make the payment. You need to make the payment. Then what A will do? He will make payment to C on behalf of B. He will make payment to C on behalf of B. This is the total story of the journal entries what we are going to post. In this, there is an additional party. What A did, he purchased goods and he transferred this bill to C. So, he endorsed, what we call it as endorsed. He endorsed the bill. So, he is called endorsee. And this guy, the drawer, is also called as endorser. He is endorsing. Since A is endorsing the bill, he will be called as endorser. And whoever is receiving the bill, that guy is called NRC. That guy is called NRC. So there are two additional parties we learnt now. A endorsed this bill to C, so A is called as endorser. He is a drawer as well as endorser. C received the bill, right? So he is called as NRC. He is called as NRC. And he will also be called as PAE. You know why? Because he is the one going to get the payment. So, endorsee also will be called as payee. Are you clear so far? Now, we will write entries in 
all the three books a b c three three books we need to learn how a will write certain entries how c will write certain entries and how b will write certain entries so we'll go one by one a sold goods to b on credit a sold goods to b on credit so what entry he will write b account debit to sales account please refer my previous videos i, I explain in detail about this entry what b will write b will say purchases account debit to a account there is no change in this entry i am not explaining in detail number two there is no entry here because he did not get involved here so a sold goods worth 5000 okay so let us put 5000 5000 5000 5000 now what happened a has drawn a bill on b he has drawn a bill on B and he sent that bill to B and asking B to accept it. So B also accepted and what B did is he sent back that bill to A. Now the bill is with A. What entry A will write? Bills receivable account. Why bills receivable account? It is an asset. So I already explained this to B account. This entry he will write. Clear? What B will write? A account debit to bills payable account. I already told you there is only one bill. A call that A is going to call that bill as bills receivable, and B is going to call that bill as bills payable. Clear? Now, where is the bill? Bill is with A. Where is the bill? Bill is with A. Now, what A did is. A purchased goods from C. A purchased goods from C on credit. Same 5,000 rupees. Same 5,000 rupees. A purchased goods from C. This entry has to be written now. So, what do we do? A will write purchases account debit 5,000. Same amount I am talking, okay? To C account 5,000. This is the entry he will write. B will not write any entry. Why B will not write any entry? Because A purchased from C. The transaction happened between A and C. If the transaction happened between A and C, there is no involvement of B. There is no involvement of B. So B need not write any entry. What C will write? He sold goods to A. So A account debit to sales account. 5,000, 5,000. A account debit to sales account. This is the entry he will write. Now, what A did, whatever 5000 bill he has, that bill has been transferred to C. That bill has been transferred to C. So, now what entry C will write? Fourth entry. He is giving this bill to C. Who is the receiver? C. So, C account debit 5000. C is receiving the bill. And what is going out of A? Bills receivable account. C account debit to bills receivable account. This is the new entry, guys. Let me explain once again. He, is, he purchased goods, right? A purchased goods. So that is the reason what A is doing. Whatever bill he has, he is giving that bill to C. So bills receivable is going out of A and C is the receiver. So C is the receiver, debit the receiver. So, C account is debited. Bills receivable is going out from A. So, bills receivable account credit. There is no entry in B books. Why there is no entry in B books? The transaction happened only between A and C. He transferred that bill to C. So, there is no issue with B. So, he will not write anything. What C will write? C is getting the bill. What bill is getting? Bills receivable. Bills receivable is an asset for him. So he will debit the bills receivable account to debit 5000. And who is the giver of the bill? A is the giver of the bill. So to A account 5000 rupees. You understood? So why bills receivable account is debited? For C, now bills receivable is asset. So he is debiting bills receivable account. And who is the giver? A. So giver account. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. So A account 
is the giver so we are creating a so bills receivable account debit and a account credit now bill is you know where is the bill bill is with c now bill is with c let me rub this and then we will learn other entries let me write down like this hmm. now the bill is with c bill is with c on the due date what happens c went to b and requested for the payment b paid the amount then what entry b will write what entry c will write what entry a will write that is what we are going to learn first let us start from c <laughs> C got the amount, so he will debit bank, bank account debit. He is giving this bill to B, so to bills receivable account. Bank account debit to bills receivable account. That's all. He is getting the cash, so bank account is debited, and his bill is being given to B, so bills receivable is going out, so bills receivable account is created. What B will write? B is getting the bill. What bill for him? That is bills payable for him. So, bills payable account to debit to bank account. Why bank account? He is paying cash. Cash in the sense through bank. So, bills payable account debit to bank account. Now, what A will write? A will not write anything. Why A will not write anything? Because the transaction got settled between C and B. A already purchased goods and he gave the bill to C. So his liability got over. Now the transaction is lying between C and B. C went to B, B paid the cash. So C received the cash, B paid the cash. Transaction got over. So there is no entry in A books. This is one scenario. <laughs> Next scenario. C went to B, requested for the payment. B said, I can't pay. I don't have money. Then what entry C need to write? C will say, uh, he is not bothered about B. He will go to A and say, boss, I went to B. I requested for the payment. B said he doesn't have money and he cannot make the payment. So, that time, what C will write is, I have to receive this amount from A. I have to receive this amount from A. A account to debit. A will become a debtor for him now. So, he will debit A. And anyway, the bill is given to B, right? So, he will write two bills receivable account. 5,000, 5,000. This is, it, either this will happen or this will happen. I'm, this is already over, I explained. Now, I'm in this entry. What is this entry? If the bill is dishonored. If the bill is dishonored, what C will do? He will give that bill to B. So, bill is going out. So, bills receivable account is created. And B, did B make the payment? No. Then who has to make the payment to C? C is bothered about A. C is not bothered about B. Why? Because he has to get the amount from A. So he will debit A. So A will become a debtor in C's books. That is the reason he is debiting A. Because C sold goods to A, not to B. Just because A gave the bill, he went to B and requested for the payment. But if B fails to pay, C will straight away go to A because he is the one purchased goods from you know, C, right? So he will straight away go to A and say, Boss, as you said, as you, you know, uh, requested, I went and asked B to make the payment. B said, No. So you have to make me the payment. So for that, what entry C is supposed to write? C is supposed to debit A account. Why A account has to be debited? Because A will become a debtor in C books. A will become debtor because C has to think that I have to receive this amount from A. I have to receive this amount from A. So A account debit to, he is giving that bill to B. Two bills receivable account. This is the entry C will write. What B will write? B is getting bills payable account as usual. He will say bills payable account debit 5000 rupees and he did not make the payment. To whom he has to pay? He has to pay to A. Not to C. He doesn't you know, bother about C. The transaction happened between A and B. So, B 
we will say i have to pay this amount to a not to c please remember this point b doesn't have any relation to c b says b thinks that i have to pay this amount to a so bills payable account debit to a account 5000 rupees getting my point next what a will write he has to receive the amount from b so b account to debit 5000 rupees he has to receive that amount from b and he has to pay this amount to c he has to receive this amount from b and he has to pay this amount to c so b account to debit to a account 5000 rupees this is what a will write i have to receive the bill amount from b so b will become a debtor debtor is an asset so b account is debited and he has to pay this amount to a a will become a sorry he has to pay this amount to c not a i'm sorry here he has to pay this amount to c right so he has to pay this amount to c c will become a creditor so c account credit so b account debit to c account he will write who a let me repeat what a will think i have to receive this amount from b because b dishonored the bill since b dishonored the bill what he a will think i have to receive this amount from b so b will become a debtor so he is debiting b and he has to pay this amount to whom he has to pay this amount to c c will become a creditor in a books that is the reason c account is credited so b account debit to c account 5000 rupees this is the entry a will write i hope you are very clear on this point right so if the bill got dishonored these are the entries we are supposed to write i hope the concept is clear right so if the concept is you know clear please like the video and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you so much